Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome you back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4, our Wales campaign. Now, if you remember what happened last time, we have gobbled up all of Scotland, except for the Western Islands, because at the time, three different armies had been trying to carve up Wales. First, Denmark, uh, rolled in from Orkney, the Orkneys there, and, uh, but they didn't really do anything. So while they were doing that, we rolled in and started pack manning up uh, Scottish clay. And then the English got the bright idea, hey, you know, maybe we should get some of this Scottish land. And But by then we'd already taken all the choice pieces, so they'd, they'd hopped over to the Western Isles and that's where we left them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that is where we find ourselves now. We all have Welsh supremacy over three of the home countries. That is, of course, uh, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And, in fact, we've got the Regular Ireland, too. Uh, Ireland and Scotland are represented by... Represented? <laughs> represented by lone counties uh, now. So, really, it's just Wales v. England for... British Island Supremacy, and England did lose their uh, great power recently. So I think they're at 31 of 37, so it's going to be a bit of an issue. We are close to finishing up defensive ideas. Uh, I think we got, yeah, we just have the actual land attrition on defensive ideas. That'll give uh, more attrition, adding to the actual Welsh attrition. And we'll have minus attrition, so. <coughs> Plus, our, uh, we still already have that um, morale of 4-4, four, four, which I think still beats England at this point. Uh, but I know that we're going to run right into probably... As soon as we get tech, tech 10, tech 10 will run into probably... Why are you freezing? Hey, thank you. I don't know why you do that, but whatever. Uh, we will probably run into... It's a good choice. Quality gives us that discipline. But if we take offensive ideas to counter the defensive ideas we took, we get the discipline as well. And the plus 20% uh, land modifier that you wouldn't get out of quantity. So, we'll look into that. Okay. As soon as we finish exploration, yeah, oh boy, we're out of Navy. Don't forget that. Uh, let's see, so we got a rivalry of rival. Oh, yes, and uh, uh, Castile told us to go pound rope because <coughs> excuse me, they're buddies with, with Portugal and we're buddies with France, and never the twain shall meet the time. Fresh and we're oh, reducing the overextension, which of course we would want to do anyway. All right, so we are now being ready to pour everything. We're still at negative one to our unrest, which is great. We've only got Scottish and Gaelic separatists. Uh, the Scottish one will be the issue. Uh, but all we need to do is just squat our mobile. about the Scottish separatists and the separatists and the Gaelic separatists right now because the Scottish separatists pop out of the 22 stacks. So. Oh, and in the meantime, we solved our air issue with uh, Owain Lindwyr II. So, Wales is sitting pretty pretty. Okay. 
severely ticked off. <laughs> they want all of Scotland, and oh yeah, by the way, uh, probably most of uh, Ireland back. Well, nanny nanny. Well, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> it wouldn't happen, but it'd be funny if we could uh, go into uh, the, the, I think the York, the Lancasters, or Scotland's tutors, and uh, King Henry the Ninth. There is a King Henry the Ninth, which there goes history. <laughs> but so far, there's nobody to uh, take over the English crown, so that might be interesting. See if there's a succession war for them. Uh, let's start, let's start uh, evening out our ranks. He's a 21, so let's put another cannon there. Oh, what the heck? Uh, cannon and a uh, one of each. Uh, we definitely have the money to handle it. Yay, fight is now ours. We'll have to start helping the Scottish separatists go down. Yep. Oh, and colonialism is popped. Let's see where colonialism popped this game. Colonialism has popped, oh, actually, very nice, right in the heart of London. So we'll be able to actually roll colonialism probably within 15%. Which is, is which is appropriate, because we're about to actually start our own colonialism. In about less than 140, uh, 150. So, go team. Oh, will be next to get forward it looks like and we can finally take the final defensive idea because we are five years ahead still Boom. so defensive ideas are finished so we have attrition for enemies and lowered their attrition so when you add that to the welsh idea <coughs> excuse me we have a, a total of uh two attrition for enemies Meaning, uh, England may not actually want to go after us as much. And that'd be nice. Okay, so I believe we're on our full 21 now, though. So let's see. Yeah. Lothian just popped. So we'll probably be making some states here fairly quickly. Okay. to go up. Yeah, see, the institution's already spreading around England pretty well. Uh, we're only at, what, uh, 1%. In fact, uh, we'll probably get the hop on everybody, because with it going to England, um, it'll spread to these guys probably slowly, and then France will probably be the next hop uh, to get it, but <coughs> not before we do, actually. So in this case, we're definitely going to benefit on the uh, institution. Okay, we'll some states, 21. We can probably build some more 
Bob Bootstrap. Come on. It's getting close. Closer. Closer. Oh, go away. But it'll probably end up being a couple more because we have a pretty high. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need 423 because of the corruption. But that corruption's going down pretty quickly, so. In fact, we can probably afford to throw some more cash into it. There we go. That'll do it uh, point 0.2 a month now. Ooh, four contacts! Sure, we could try, but, uh, what? 1513. I mean, another 12 years. Uh, you know, at this point, we might as well try to take, like, say, Savoy. Hey, Savoy! Our guys aren't really doing anything. I, I think... <laughs> yeah, I think our... Uh... Ah, come on. Our diplomats are doing less than Darkfire's life. <laughs> now we should be able to take quest for the world. Boom, boom, boom. Fun times. I think we might be able to get uh, the colonial range, which is actually what we're going to need. Oh. Oh. Scottish uh, state for Scottish land. You really want 15 percent? Yeah, that should make the player be happy. Anyway, I know I keep saying anyway. Huh? All right, but uh, looks like our rebel problem is about to probably drop off pretty much. It's not going to be that big of an issue anyway. At 16 and 18, I mean... We've got to put 21 on Sutherland. They're at the, the worst. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, come on, hold on, hold on. There. Boom, and there goes the Gaelic. There we go. Now we'll just drop right to both in, and we won't worry about any uh, pesky rebels. Now, I know from personal experience, uh, I don't think we'll have, uh, we're going to be able to go immediately. Uh, even with having this much in Scotland, we might still need to have that. Uh, global settler. Diplo and loyalty for oh, unrest. Ugh. That sucks. We need our Diplo. We need our precious Diplo car. Uh -oh. That will actually get a little bit of cash back since <laughs> our guys are dead. That 
is absolutely the time we don't need to have uh, <laughs> an issue with our uh, blah blah blah. Sorry, uh, an, an issue with our improved relations because we're about to vassalize these guys. Ooh, I did see that they embrace colonialism, which actually is good for us. That could speed it up. Very good. Canox would actually be closer. Yeah. Well, the Western Isles might even be even closer. We'll see. So it looks like we might need it. We'll definitely need to get that uh, that colonial expansion to get any good out of this. Or we can declare war on Norway, piss them off, and take victory of it. But I don't think that's going to happen. So really, it's just an experiment. Spend monarch points. Really. <laughs> oh, oh, right. They kind of have uh, sure. We had military access. Oh, great. So, that Ricard <laughs> started the Protestant Revolution. Oops. That's going to get fixed pretty bloody quickly because we can't have a Protestant land right here. Although, maybe we should be like Protestant. That might be a good idea. I mean, actually, if we just sit back and let, <laughs> and let Kanak uh, convert everything into being Protestant. We get it for free, really. We give our uh, missionary something to do. I don't think it's for Protestants. Probably not. But, yeah, we could. We'd get the Center of Reformation. We'd lose prestige, we get a bunch of money. It's just that that knock to prestige is just mm, that's what I don't really want. It would put us at negative twenty-eight prestige, and we've got a pretty high prestige as it is. So we'll just keep an eye on those. Uh, oh, really? We're going to have to flip over anyway if we want to. Uh, 
Uh, vassalize the bloody. Uh, well, that's. Ties and ox down once the ball. You know what? I think at this point it's almost easier to do this. Um, so we'll wait on that truce. We'll we'll just roll over them in five years. <coughs> <coughs> Obviously, we'll have time to do this. Uh, we're probably going to be, I mean, since C uh, Castile and Portugal usually focus on Africa first and then Brazil, we'll definitely be able to get into North America probably before England does, because usually England relies on grabbing all this in order to be able to hop, uh, hop west. Here's what we're gonna do. Fine, we'll lose that guy, but we'll get some mercantilism out of it while we still can, because I can see us rolling into, into Protestant pretty soon. Um, and then we just hire a new guy. Missionary strength, inflation reduction. Ah, colonial range plus 20%? Mm -hmm. Why don't we do that? We get the colonial range plus 20% from him. He's 39, uh, so 330. If we can pop to 400 before he croaks, then we'll be able to land here on Eric's door. Yeah! Because we're 330, another 20% ends up making it basically just about 400. Okay, so what we're going to do here, probably, in five years, is we're going to roll over and take uh, Clemens Uh Just take them out because they're doing annoying things. With our brand new shiny Tech 9. Okay, clean consort. Oh, perfect. We could... Huh, so we divorced the clean consort. Which is fine because he's probably gonna die anyway. Well, let's try that. We'll lose 10 prestige out of that. Um, and three Diplo and uh, yes, please. We'll do this. Th hmm, that's a good question. We do the military power. We do the naval power. We can roll over to the idea. So let's just do the. Uh, a little bit down, but I don't think we have to. Certainly we can. We can start colonizing Greenland. 
then what we'll do is we'll make a brand new shiny guy to go over there and uh, hang out. Now this, of course, means we're going to need to reorganize quite a bit. Well, re completely root out the corruption. Uh, stop rooting out corruption. And I don't think we have an advisor. We do have an advisor. Fire! Well, we can't fire him because he's helping us get that extra, but hopefully... Anyway, we're just babbling. <coughs> okay, so we're actually going to put a pin in here because we're running a little bit on time. Looks like our, our next project has started our official colonization of Greenland, to which we can then start making America Welsh. Let's make America Welsh again. Uh, in fact, I think that could be the na definitely the name of when we start colonizing there. <laughs> All right, so I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed.